Welcome to the demo of Ask Ziggy Natural Language Understanding API. Our API enables developers to quickly voice enable their applications and interpret natural language commands in their application domain quickly and easily. Once the initial setup is completed on the portal, developers simply need to make REST-based calls with natural language text as input and receive a simple action entity JSON output. As the technology is REST-based, the developer is free to create applications on any mobile, desktop, or embedded platforms and in any programming language. Here, we'll step through setting up the NLU portal for sample music application. The goal of this app is to allow end users to speak in natural language and allow developers to execute the correct commands using our natural language API. Let's log in to our account on the portal first. You'll be taken to the Applications list page. You can create new applications from here by clicking the Create New Application button. Let's call it Music App. The new application has now been created and here are its details. The API key is the unique identifier of the application. The secret key will be used to encode the input using HMAC encryption. This will be used to make REST calls to our API. On the right, you see the application's plan and usage statistics. Let's go to the first step now. Entities. Entities are a list of items in a file or a regular expression or some predefined type like date, time or locations. For our music app, there will be a list of songs, artists, bands, etc. Let's start by creating the artist entity list. Here is the sample content of the artist file. Next, let's add band entity list. The genre list. And finally, the songs entity list. Let's talk about other entity types supported. First is regular expression entity type. Users can use regular expressions to define entities which cannot be easily enumerated but easily represented using regex. Some examples of this are numbers, emails, social security numbers, URLs, etc. Next is predefined entity type. Under predefined, we have location. Selecting the predefined location entity allows developers to get full location tagging feature out of the box without manually having to mine and upload the data. It also returns other useful information like geo coordinates and related details. Date and time. This predefined entity allows for tagging of date and time entities out of the box. The next step is to create some sample sentences. This will be used by the natural language training engine to build an NLU model of the application. First, let's create some developer actions. From a developer's point of view, think of these as well-defined functions or methods in their program code. For any natural language input, the developer will receive back an action along with tagged entities which may be considered as parameters to actions. For our music app, let's create four developer actions. Play, Shuffle, Next Song, and Previous Song. Now let's create some sample sentences that we think the end user is going to say while using our application. Select the developer action which we expect to get back as output. The corpus editor auto tags the input. You can always override the auto tag or tag untagged words as appropriate by right clicking the words. Here is how it looks like after we add all the samples. You can filter your samples using the filters on the left. 
Please try to have at least three samples for each action and entity type. The more the samples, the better the NLU model will be. Once we have the entities and samples done, we are ready to train the NLU model by clicking as shown. Depending on the size of the application, the training can take a few minutes. As this is a background process, you may go to other pages or log out and come back later. You will receive an email once training is done. After a few minutes, we see that training has successfully completed. Next step is to go to the test console. Here, we can test out some sentences and see the output from the trained model. Let's try this sentence and click Submit. The output JSON has the action and entities as expected. This is the JSON that the developer can expect to get back when a request is made with the input. The URL shows the REST call that needs to be made to the NLU API. This has the natural language text input, UTC timestamp, API key, user ID, and signature, which is HMAC encoding of the input using the application secret key. You can also test multiple sentences in the console. On our website, we have sample code on how to generate URL in most popular programming languages. The portal also has a test suite. Using this, the developer can evaluate how complete the application configuration is. First, we need to create some test cases. The method to add test cases is identical to how we created samples. Now, we are ready to run the test suite. Depending on the number of test cases, it may take a few moments to run the test suite. Here is a test suite result. It shows the accuracy of our NLU model. To improve the results, we need to create more sample sentences and retrain the NLU model. The portal supports a versioning system which allows developers to freely experiment, revert to older versions, and deploy particular versions to production. This completes our tutorial for the music application. We see how easy it is to configure, train, and test the Ask Ziggy Natural Language Understanding API to voice-enable applications and interpret natural language.